Creed to boot along, deny that. Azami will likely have a as prominent as she used to be. An early push in from square stairs, and Bolo now on the flank takes out Fultz and has another to do some damage, or at least a missed opportunity onto the sledge, who doesn't seem to know that. With the clock burning down and getting the opening kill, they've basically already gotten all the value that, that they seek with this setup. Oh, and there's more scouting. There's more. No, 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 no! Space Station, nobody is watching right now on this flank, <laughs> and they're just feasting on them. SSG being punished across the board. Yeti, the star performer that we've talked about time and time again in a 1v5 with half of the round to go. I mean, you've got a good gun in your hands, but TSM, they got to know. He might just take a time out here. It looks like that might be the oh. case. <laughs> difficult is that you saw it right there. You walk in the double door leading to ATMs exactly where Yeti was situated. The second too late, Yeti could have potentially capitalized off of that ramp. Wow. He cut down as he tries to repel up the side wall. And now it's Yeti sustaining some damage. TSM bringing the fire to Space Station, and it will continue to get bad for that Space Station squad. As now they've lost Bosco to Bolo. There's over two minutes left. The pace that's being set from TSM. Excellent. Yeah. And because Mer made some noise previously, shown in that clip earlier today during the pre show of the Tokoname finals can creep on up. Gasher engaging, but Yeti gets one. That's the second kill for Space Station. Achieved lets him slip by oh. right now just under his nose and pops up. But Achieved actually can't see him because of the debris. Bolo goes down now too, and Achieved still holding this. Fultz off of the diffuser. What is happening here? 30 seconds to go. Everybody's posted up, but they're waiting for the flank, and it's going to come in from Snake up top. Square stairs. Engaging wins the gunfight against Hot and Cold. Achieved was primed and ready to pick up on it. It's going to be Yeti to clutch. Fultz will continue to crawl to give information. I don't know if they are aware of Yeti's position in this corner, but there they go. They jiggle around it. Just too many bodies. Two for Achieved in the final moments. It's a smoke that goes off to obscure from the top. And well, the proximity alarm is there. First pick for Space Station. That's the first time they've been able to accomplish it so far in this matchup. They've gotten rid of Achieved. Still four players from TSM remain. I'm not entirely sure what Space Station's plan is with this Blitz, but Honey was just running on the entire map looking for something, doesn't find it. That's back to a 4v4, <laughs> but a nice trade from Space Station as Yeti's there to pick up the pieces. Oh, and he might actually be able to... Uh, oh? To get something as he rotates around. Do you hear the shield just recharge? Yeah, it recharged. Even, though, <laughs> even though Hot and Cold is dead. It's good to know that if somebody were to pick it up, a load of chunk away at Bosco, but Bosco has the better angle and can march forward towards the bomb site. Final logic bomb goes out. Gasher under pressure on the stairs with Alda in hand. Swings around, but he can't outduel Yeti. Three kills for him. Merc, the last one to hold down the fort. He might be able to beat. Almost involved. And look where he's going yet again. Oh. Taking the head off of Hasher. <laughs> Gasher inside of Garage. And there's a phone for him to pick up as well. TSM losing their single player that was watching that avenue into the bomb site. Look at the timing though. Essentially, SSG's SSG have not surrendered a single player just yet, but Rampy's in the middle of the bomb site. Unable to outduel oh, Snake. Oh. A beautiful shot from him to get both, but Yeti has the backup yet again. Yeti is everywhere all at once. Both losses from TSM coming at the hands of Yeti, but he will be no more as Merc wins the engagement and Yeti's three piece is denied. Bosco's in the bomb site, but they have to be wary. Is there a Yokai drone in play? There's no Echo, so he can't control it, but could still be watching them. It's a very exposed spot for Bosco to be in. You need hot and cold to cover. Merc's watching the doorway. There goes a flash in. Bosco might be able to get this down. Bolo and Merc both in similar position, but look at where Merc is posted up. He slaughters Bosco. Hot and cold looking for his first kill. Can he get it? No. All the utility used for nothing is a bit anticlimactic. But Yeti continues, breaks 10 kills. 11, almost. Gasher taking a ton of damage. Cannot outduel him. Bolo on the stairs takes down Yeti. 10 is all he's gonna get for now. Bolo repositions towards the Bolo shield. That, they lost their hyper carry. And now they'll try yet again, but it's Bolo still doing Bolo things. Goodbye to Rampy. Rampy was crouch walking his way through the lobby as Finca. That's not where you wanna be. Tough nut to crack. Staff area. Kendall's go in, Gasher, Blair witching in the corner. Blinded for only a second. Out duels Bosco, finish him off. It's hot and cold with one kill. He's got a lot of bullets. Oh, oh. and he's gonna keep going. He doesn't need to reload, he's still got 40 left. 
Where are they? Where's Bolo? Where's Snake? Hot and cold with Diffuser in hand. He's had some huge clutches in this part of the map before. Oh. Well, Lightning Strike twice. Different opponents. He gets a ping on one. Lined up. Out in a pinched position. You will next. Place. A bit behind the curve, though. They wanted to catch that relocating oh. Snake, but no. Look at this. Achieve with a jump out, and he gets it done. Run to the hills. Get back in if you can. Yeti has the refrag. It comes a little bit late. It's 11 kills for Yeti. Half the round to go. Yeah, we're still roaming to the top floor here. Remember, it's a Taylor's Archives bomb. So, so one space you can get to hold of the top floor. The round gets a lot easier for them. Yeti with two on the round. Good morning. First half, SSG on attack won both Teller's bomb sites. So lining up perfectly with what we see out of the stats here. Achieved gun down by Hot and Cold. He's trying to make some noise upstairs in staff area. Could not be done. And TSM suffers the first catch. Just saw one. Oh, and he follows up, but he cannot outduel Yeti at all. Nice play from the Warden. Now it's Bosco to smoke off. Some more gets dropped on TSM. Finds two kills their own. Bosco and Rampy in the grave. Yeti follows. Fultz and Hot and Cold are the last two standing for Space Station, but they've narrowed the numbers down to just Gasher. He's in the bomb site with the diffuser in the midst of the smoke. It's a long time to get the plant down, and it looks like they might permit him. them down. Nice verticality here. Good control from TSM, but they execute well when they're first gunfight. Oh, an answer back from Rampy, who gets his first kill, but that's all he's going to find for it. Bolo asserting himself on main stairs, outdueled by Houghton. Houghton goes for the jump over, doesn't get it. Snake finishes him. Very little left and decides to engage it. Fultz puts him out of his misery. If Achieved can clutch out, they'll continue TSM's lead. Fultz just needs to stop it to tie the game. And we're almost past the point. In Individual rounds you can win off the back of a single operator, but Merc, he finds something goes to Yeti. That is a big shutdown for TSM. TSM being quick to punch on a couple of these rounds, and it obviously works out so well in their favor. Their offense sputtering a little bit, as again, it's three rounds in a row for SSG. Rampy only got a single kill in that previous round. That's all he was oh. able to get. He misses an opportunity to do some more. Merc's going to charge up, and he gets baited right in. Hot and cold, and Rampy collide with Merc and achieved. This is invite, actually. It's the last time that they were showing up. Snake with a nice intro into hot and cold. Get some map control with TSM. However, this is that pinched position. This is not where you want to be stuck in. Bolo will hack the cameras and gain a bit of information as to where SSG might be playing. Despite them both being former champions. I got you. Scouting for where the offside players may be as you get to the final moments of this fateful round. One of these teams will take the lead. Space Station looking to take their very first lead of the match in what would be their fourth round in a row. They just need to patiently await these TSM players. Bosco gets oh. slaughtered by Snake. Bolo joins as well. To fell just about anybody in that position. Just trying to bide time. He's a bit too slow to unsheath the shotgun. Down he goes to Snake. TSM marches in, Fultz still on the stairs, droned out, beheads achieved. A pivot towards the bottom of those stairs. Bolo now on to the engagement with Hot and Cold wins it. He can easily drop the hatch. SSG on the back foot. TSM look like match point is theirs. Yeah. Got the diffuser going down. Maybe Yeti to the rescue. His first kill in three rounds. It comes on to Merc. Oh, there's a smoke to cut off a cross if they drop. Yeti's on the diffuser right now. Do they oh. know this? Fultz goes in. Yeti might be able to steal it away unless Snake oh. can stop him at the last second, and he does. It's an all-out brawl with Fultz doing some serious work. It's Bolo above to save the round for his team. Explosion goes off. Fultz on the case. Bolo knows it. He's got the dirty dozen. Yeah, I mean, the group thing is the biggest thing. Exceeding like, is what teams care the most for because the mage is what it's about. Well, SSG, they start off this round quite strong. Even if their ultimate goal of finishing first in the North American League is now out of reach, they can still play for bragging rights. They lose hot and cold. The F2 in the hands of Bolo. He's one behind Yeti. It's a battle of the titans, but Snake with 12 kills, Bolo with 14, Yeti with 15. We are seeing individual heroics right now from the players that you expect to be climbing the standings. The smoke goes off, Bolo runs up, Yeti to outduel him, 16 kills for Yeti. More onto the shoulders of TSM, as they now trail in terms of man count. Merc will take the next engagement all the way up to the top and loses the duel to Yeti. How is Yeti getting away with these? They knew he was in the elevator, still couldn't accomplish anything. Achieved and Snake are the last two standing. 
SSG want to push this one to the very final round, but Snake has something to say about that as he finds two oh. but can't get past Bosco. Achieved to find two of his own to put this one away. Is it possible? 15 seconds remaining. Clock working against him. SSG standing pat and it's a In the midst of it, Bolo this time with the first America. So this is just simply for posterity. TSM will gain a single point, go to 19 points. Whew. That puts SSG out of reach, just like Fultz thought he might have been out of reach of the nade that Merc drops right into his lap. Yeti fell back to bump set as well. Yeti's escaped back downstairs. Snake on the hunt. That's it for Yeti. 15 kills for Snake. Whew. Bosco sends him into the dirt with a single blast from the shotgun. Nice back and forth. And an excellently quick entry from TSM after those first eat. Oh my, no, 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 no. You see Three. That's a freebie for Bolo on the Rampy back turn. Terrible game for Rampy so far. Bosco now down as well. It's all on the shoulders of hot and cold.